Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. In this week's Women in Astronomy, we are going to be talking about Nancy Grace Roman and her contributions to astronomy. So let's go ahead and get started here. And here we have Nancy Grace Roman who lived from 1925 to 2018. She was born in Tennessee and then studied at Swarthmore College and received her doctorate in 1949 from the University of Chicago. Now let's look at her scientific work and one of the things that she worked on was finding that stars could be divided into groups based on their chemical content. Now what does that mean? First of all we know that all stars are made up of hydrogen and helium. Those are the primary components of every star in the universe. However, it's the little trace elements that actually make different stars interesting. And there are stars that have higher or lower metal content. And metals in an astronomical context is not what we normally think of as metal, but is anything other than hydrogen or helium. So this really helped us understand how our Milky Way formed. How did our galaxy form by finding that there were two groups of stars, one that had a lower metal content that was spread all around in a spherical distribution around the galaxy, and those stars with a higher metal content that were classified and found in the disk of the galaxy. So that really told us something about how our galaxy formed and collapsed from something that was once more spherical to a disk based galaxy. Now she also worked in radio astronomy and did some mapping of our Milky Way galaxy in radio astronomy. One of her big contributions here was for almost two decades from 1960 to 1979. She was the chief of astronomy for NASA. So she worked on a lot of different telescopes, getting telescopes up that observed in the x-rays, in the infrared, in the ultraviolet, to be able to look at the universe at all these different wavelengths, which helps give us a better understanding. When we look at things in different wavelengths, we get a different picture because different wavelengths of light and again electromagnetic energy, all that light from gamma rays on the high energy side to radio waves on the low energy side, tell us about different parts of an astronomical object. And one of her other things that she did was to build support for the Hubble Space Telescope. So the Hubble Space Telescope launched in 1990. And here we see her uh, along with a mock up of the Hubble Space Telescope behind. And that was one of the things that she really worked on was to build that support to get Hubble Space Telescope project off the ground, which sometimes gives her the nickname, the mother of Hubble. So let's go ahead and summarize a little bit about what we covered today. And what we've looked at is that Nancy Grace Roman born in Tennessee in 1925. And we talked about a number of things that she worked on, including the chemical content of stars coming up that there are two different populations of stars and being able to relate that to the formation of our galaxy. In the 1960s and 70s, she was the chief of astronomy, astronomy for NASA, building support for the Hubble Space Telescope, which would later be launched in 1990. So that concludes this discussion of Nancy Grace Roman. We'll be back again next week to talk about another woman in astronomy. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.